for Latin America, um, the, um, I guess the, the, the position for the majority of countries is to wait and see until these, uh, these policies uh, are effective. And also, as I said before, waiting until uh, and, and seeing what happens with the growth in China, which is uh, so important. However, there are some countries in the region, uh, especially those ones that are potentially more affected, that have started to adopt some policies in reaction. Mexico yesterday announced a uh, fiscal stimulus package of $5 billion. That's about 1% of Mexican uh, GDP. Um, and I think soon we're going to see a reduction in interest rates in some countries, particularly in Brazil and in Mexico. There are other countries that, because of what you just mentioned, uh, Homi, the inflationary pressures and a weak fiscal situation, do not have you know, a tremendous room of maneuver. That's the case of uh, Chile. It's running an inflation of 9%. Very difficult to reduce interest rates in, in Chile today. Uh, same in Colombia, uh, and certainly the same case in, in Argentina. Uh, in terms of the uh, fiscal conditions, um, some countries, in addition to Venezuela, could also expand somewhat. They have the capacity, Peru and Chile. Uh, others not. Brazil and Colombia are not in a position that they could really stimulate their economies uh, with, uh, with a fiscal expansion, uh, because they, they, they certainly risk uh, a bad reaction from the markets in terms of a downgrade of their credit ratings or an increase in the spreads.